the length of a metal wire is L1 when the tension in it is T1 and L2 when the tension in the wire is T2, the unstretched length of the wire is. So question is, suppose we have a wire. Hai. Let's say us wire ki jo unstretched length hai, original length wo hai L. Or jab humne us wire pe force ya fir tension T1 lagai, tab humare pas length thi L1. Or jab tension T2 lagai, tab humare pas length thi L2. Hame batana hai original wire ki length kya hogi. We know Young's modulus y is equal to force per unit area which is stress divided by strain. Strain kya hota delta N by L. So this implies force per unit area L into delta L. So this implies delta L ki value I F into L A into A divided by A by I. So jab humare paas force humne T1 lagaya to length thi L1 to delta L1 kya aya L1 minus L. Thik hai? So I am putting the L1 minus L is equal to force that is T1 original length is L. Area of cross section is suppose A. We uh, mm -hmm. that the area of cross section is not changing on applying the force. And Young's modulus is Y. Similarly, when force T2 is applied, L2 minus L is equal to T2 L divided by AY. So uh, this is equation one, and this is equation two. Okay. On dividing equation one by equation two, we will get L one minus L divided by L two minus L. This is equal to T1L AY into T2L AY. So AY is AY will get cancelled and from this L, this L will be cancelled. So we will be left with L1 minus L divided by L2 minus L will be equal to T1 by T2. On cross multiplying, we will get T2L1 minus T2L is equal to T1L2 minus T1L. On rearranging the terms, we will get T2L1 minus T1L2. This is equal to T2 minus T1L. So this implies we will get the length L to be T2 L1 minus T1 L2 divided by T2 minus T1. Here yeah, we original length of wire. So as per the options, option C is the right answer.